the Minecraft Marketplace just got add-ons. Let's check them out. What the... Oh boy. That's right, I'm a bit late to this, but add-ons have come to Minecraft Bedrock Edition in the Marketplace. And that sounds like great news, and it is, sort of, but there's a bad side to it that we're gonna be talking about as well. And this problem will definitely be a bit more noticeable to Java Edition players. So folks, hope you're having a great day. This might make it a bit worse, but let's get into it anyway. So, the Minecraft Marketplace has been around for quite some time now, only on Minecraft Bedrock Edition though. And already a lot of people didn't like the Marketplace. They felt like the content that you got for it wasn't good enough for what you paid for it, especially when you could get some very high quality mods for Minecraft Java Edition for, well, free. And that's not to mention the fact that a lot of people didn't like having in-app purchases within Minecraft either. But moving up to the present, add-ons are now here, officially in the Minecraft Marketplace. And what makes add-ons different from older Marketplace content is that you can use them multiple at a time and use them in any world that you want. And so, of course, you're probably wondering, what's the problem here? This all sounds great. But as someone who's quite into modded Minecraft, the problem is very apparent. See, the great thing about mods is that they're free. You can use any number of them, you can create giant mod packs that basically completely transform the game, all for free. Now, if you take a look at the add-ons on the Minecraft Marketplace, that's definitely not always the case here. Many of these add-ons cost money. Some cost more than others, and some are actually free as well. But if you want to create a large add-on pack, like the large mod packs for Java, that could cost you a lot. A lot of the popular mod packs are actually hundreds of mods. And to replicate that on Bedrock with add-ons in the marketplace could cost you so much money. And that's just not fair. This is another major example of Bedrock Edition getting the short end of the stick compared to Java. And a great example of this problem is the add-on slash mod Naturalist. Naturalist has been a mod for Java for quite some time now, and it's a pretty good mod. And of course, it was free. And now in the Bedrock Marketplace, guess what? It costs money. So, what I want to figure out here is... Why is Mojang doing this? I mean, this isn't fair to Bedrock players at all. And I think I managed to figure out the two major reasons for this. The first reason has to do with paying the content creators. For those of you who don't know, how modders are typically paid is from the ad revenue on the websites that people download mods on. And this system works great, seeing as people get to download any number of mods they want for free. But the thing about the Minecraft Marketplace is that, of course, there are no external ads on it. So, in order for the content creators to make money, they have to charge mine coins for the add-ons. So, that takes us to the question, should the Minecraft Marketplace have external ads? My answer, at least, is definitely yes. I mean, think about it this way. Would you rather have to have an ad in the corner of your screen while in the marketplace, or have to pay, say, seven or eight bucks for an add-on? I don't know about you guys, but I'd much rather go with the ad in the corner of the screen. To be honest, I don't know the exact numbers of which one gives mod or add-on developers better pay, the ads or minecoin fees, but typically most mods are made by their developers as passion projects anyway, not something that they're trying to make their living off of. But that's just the first reason that I'm gonna talk about in this video. The second reason involves quite a bit more speculation. So, a lot of the marketplace add-ons are much lower quality than the official Minecraft updates, 
In fact, most of them are much lower quality than a lot of popular mods, and that makes the problem of payment an even bigger one. But there are some add-ons in the marketplace that are high enough quality to almost look like they were made by Mojang themselves, as some sort of official update. And think about if a bunch of those types of add-ons were free in the Minecraft marketplace. With mods, you have to go to a different website or mod launcher to install them, but with these add-ons, they're right there in a part of the game, and that makes them a lot more accessible and a lot more visible to many people. It's almost like they're part of the base game if they're free, except they're not made by Mojang and yet many of them contain so much more content than Mojang is able to add in their yearly updates. And again, with many of them, the quality of their content is almost as high as that of the content that Mojang's releasing in their own updates. So, naturally, even more people than already are would begin to wonder, how can these smaller development teams make so much more quality content than Mojang can. In other words, it would just be a terrible look for Mojang. A lot of people already think they're lazy, and if the add-ons were free, probably even more people would. So, after thinking about this for a while, I genuinely think that Mojang doesn't want add-ons to be free in the marketplace, partly because it would make them look bad and they're probably afraid of even more people getting upset at them. And if this really is the case, then that's honestly a very cowardly move on Mojang's part. But of course, do keep in mind that this is just speculation. But the more that I thought about this, the more and more that it actually made sense. So. Yeah, there is actually a problem with having add-ons in the marketplace, at least in this way. And even though it seems like this was Mojang trying to bridge some of the gap between Java Edition and Bedrock Edition, it seems like this has honestly just brought them even further apart now. I mean, now Bedrock players have to pay money for what Java players can get for free, and it goes without saying that that's not right. But anyway, that just about does it for this video. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts about all of this in the comments. Please do consider subscribing because I've been looking at my YouTube analytics and a lot of the people watching aren't subscribed. I won't pull the numbers yet though. I'm I'm not that kind of guy. Anyway, hope you have a great day, and now goodbye.